Well, hello, Gemini. This is Barb with Mystic Door Tarot, and thank you so much for joining me. This is your weekly tarot card reading for current week, 2024. And this is Valentine week, so happy Valentine's Day to all who celebrate. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And for my subscribers, welcome back. Now, keep in mind, Gemini, these are general readings, so please just take only what resonates and leave the rest behind. So for now, Gemini, let's see what the cards are revealing for uh, Valentine week. Messages and guidance for Gemini, please. What's coming through for Gemini? Okay, we had one card fly out. Let's take that one. Ace of Swords. Definitely um, a long time coming opportunity. Let's see now. All right, here we go. King of Swords. Really getting that mental clarity now as to exactly what you want to do. The Wheel of Fortune. The universe has got your back. And, oh, wow, the Major Arcana card, the world. So there's definitely something coming together. Long time coming. Almost, um, I almost feel like a breakthrough kind of energy. Good luck, good fortune in regards to um, business. Something that you're working on, working towards. And with the world card, it is endings and yet new beginnings at the same time. All right. We have bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups. This is your um, overall energy playing out in the background. So um, beautiful, beautiful energy. Ace of Cups definitely coming out a lot in this week. So yeah, there's an opportunity here. You're seeing things crystal clear. You're seeing that good luck, good fortune's coming in. And with the world card, you're kind of like stepping through this portal, leaving behind what no longer serves a purpose to you. So let's take a look and see which crystal is being suggested for you, Gemini. What's coming through for Gemini? What does Gemini need? Citrine. Look at that abundance, creativity. It concerns your solar plexus chakra. That's your will and determination. Very fiery. Um you know, energy, just very positive energy. And <clears throat> you're stepping into um, almost like turning the corner, like it's a breakthrough. It's a breakthrough energy. Whereas something might not have been working, but it is now. Now, your um, overall energy, the Ace of Cups playing out in the background. This is an overflowing cup of love. Of course, with it being Valentine week, there's lots of love for that particular holiday where you'll be exchanging um, flowers, candy, you know, going out to dinner, just um, being with the people that you love. So there is an opportunity all week long with for this. So it is what you desire. It's, it's your um, emotions, your feelings being very heightened. And looking at the bottom of the deck here, there is something that you've been thinking about over and over and over again, almost to the point of where you're getting yourself worn out. And we have the Hierophant card, um, marriage, engagement for some Geminis. And look at this, the Magician card manifesting what it is that you want, that you desire. I could keep going. I need to stop. But this is energy that has not surfaced yet. You haven't seen. It's kind of in the background right now. So it has yet to come out, but we're taking a peek to see what's coming. And this is um, the best thing. This is joy and happiness, overflowing cup of love and what you desire. So that's playing out in the background. Anchor card for the reading, you have the Ace of Swords. And this is something that I feel is a long time coming. Could have been some something that you had been <clears throat> working towards, and now the opportunity is here. But with it being the Ace of Swords, it is success, it is triumph coming in, but it's just been a long time coming. So it was a long road to get to this opportunity showing up. 
And now with the King of Swords, this is having that mental clarity. You're seeing exactly what you need to do. You're also seeing, Gemini, what you need to eliminate. What is not serving a purpose to you? This could be in your family life, your daily routine. This could be in regards to your health. This could also be in regards to your business. Kind of eliminating, seeing with crystal clarity what no longer serves a purpose. With the Wheel of Fortune, a major arcana card, this is like change coming in. Good luck, abundance. This is breakthrough energy. I just keep picking up a breakthrough, like um, something that you had been working on for a long time, which is the Ace of Swords energy. Now, good luck, good fortune. And you're being told to have the citrine crystal with you. That brings in abundance, good luck. That's kind of like... Um, just go side by side with the Wheel of Fortune energy. And your will and determination is what brought all of this about. And we did have the Magician card in there that's coming. Now, another major Arcana card. So the World card is stepping through this portal, leaving things behind that no longer serve. It's done. It's over with. You're turning the corner. You're turning a chapter. There's a breakthrough. So endings, yet right on the heels of that, you've got new beginnings, a new direction. Um, you've got this good luck, good fortune coming in. You've got an opportunity now for success. Uh, seeing things crystal clear, there's like a breakthrough energy here. So really interesting. Long time coming, though, is what I'm picking up. It's about time, Gemini. All right, let's clarify this Ace of Swords. Thank your card for your reading. And a card flew out, and it's the Empress. Abundance, yes. Now, abundance can be just being very successful, like the Wheel of Fortune, good luck, good fortune coming in, things going your way, having that breakthrough. I think that's more than anything. There's a breakthrough coming, coming in. Something is being birthed. Something's coming um, with the three energy. It's like two things coming together to create something new. So very much a breakthrough energy. And with this King of Swords. There's the Ace of Cups. You're going to be overjoyed because you're seeing things crystal clear. It's, it's again, it's that breakthrough energy. So there's success coming in. There's good luck coming in. There's abundance coming in. There's definitely something coming together that's new that's coming in. And the universe has got your back here. Got the Ace of Cups twice. Lots of love this week, Gemini. Wow. Wheel of Fortune. Things are working behind the scenes. So there's an indication here to really trust your intuition. Um, know that um, there might be something where just give it one more try with this um, Ace of Swords energy. And there is the breakthrough. Just um, a lot of emotions and feelings. Success this week. And there is something... Working behind the scenes, divine timing, your good luck, good fortune is um, it's clarifying that. So it could be something that you don't exactly expect. And that's why I keep picking up there's some kind of breakthrough. Beautiful energy, though. The world card, the knight of cups. Oh, this could be your knight in shining armor showing up for those of you that are looking for love. Definitely can be that. It can be um, definitely this is representing like some kind of movement or change of getting what you desire. And of course, there is something coming to a close in order for something new to come, you know, into play here. And of course, we're still talking about the cup's energy, which is your emotions, your feelings and your desires as well. Also, cups have to do with your intuition. And I think you really need to trust in your intuition. Something is coming in its own time, as you were waiting for this opportunity, long time waiting. So I keep picking that up, and now there's like a breakthrough. Now I did pull out the Heart and Soul deck uh, in regard in the honor of it being uh, Valentine week. So let's see what's coming through for a Gemini message for Gemini, and this one. Interesting. 
very um, calm energy, peace, serenity. You are focusing purely on the negative, but there is also a positive side you're not seeing. Yeah, this is divine timing. Your mental attitude and thoughts can make things seem good or bad, beautiful or ugly. All is a matter of, matter of perception. What you think you shall become. Be positive, Gemini, for behind the perceived darkness here, there is so much love, light, and good fortune. Wow, this uh, card was meant for, um, you know, things working behind the scenes. It is the wheel of fortune. It's going to be turning in your favor. So behind... Behind the perceived darkness, there is much love, light, and good fortune. That is this energy right here. Wow. Unbelievable sometimes how the cards, um, you know, read. And Gemini, I did pull out the Romance Angels in honor of the Valentine week. And what? <laughs> honeymoon. <laughs> Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. I just think this represents um, some of you, I do feel, are going to get engaged, elope, run off, get married, um, experiencing this kind of energy, which is, um, you know, what you feel in the beginning of a relationship. It could be meeting somebody new, but it could also be getting together for that special um, Valentine's Day, expressing your love for your significant other, your family, your friends. So, you know, two overflowing Ace of Cups here. So a lot of opportunity for love and feelings. Be sure to really trust your intuition this week. Your will and determination is really going to pay off. You're stepping through this portal, leaving behind which has served its purpose. Moving on to what your cards are indicating is abundance. Good luck, good fortune, creativity, very much love, light, and good fortune coming your way, Gemini. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe, like the video, drop a comment. It all helps the channel grow. Visit my website for a private reading. Love and abundance to my Gemini family.